Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and we're going to talk about Friends, Phoebe Buffay. All right, so I'm a huge fan of Friends, and I'm really excited about bringing Phoebe Buffay directly into Dungeons and Dragons over the narrative bridge that Dungeons and Dragons is is building with Lego. Right? So D and D, click Lego, click Friends, click. Uh, the entire cat, all the important people, uh, all the friends, right, are officially in Lego, and they're in Central Perk. So there is a Central Perk set, so I'm going to purchase that set, drop that down, connect that right up to my Dungeons & Dragons, my official D&D Lego set, and walk Phoebe Buffay directly over that physical studded bridge, right? Um, and once she, you know, and she'll meet, you know, uh, I'm sure she'll meet Dritch to Orden, whoever gets their official minifig first, right? Um, or my player characters. There's, uh, there's, I actually just found that Lego has made a fantastic line of monocolor um, minis that are essentially can be used perfectly to represent whatever flavor or, you know, or color your player character is in Dungeons and Dragons. So Lego has made sure that they, that, you know, our, our player characters can be easily represented within Lego, which is really exciting. And I think they're, they're holding up their end on this Lego D and D combination, right? So, um, what I'm really excited about is bringing Phoebe Buffay over. So Phoebe B Buffay comes into the Forgotten Realms, right? What is she going to do when she's there? Well, I think it's very clear. And this is one of the things I'm most excited about, too. So, um, the uh, for Adventures in Forgotten Realms introduced a brand new official Forgotten Realms bard. And that, for that Forgotten Bell Realms bard is Gretchen Twitchwell Willow. And she is a halfling, right? And she's a skilled, famous bard in the Forgotten Realms. So here Magic the Gathering is bringing in and saying, hey, here's this bard for, for your Forgotten Realm, for Forgotten Realms. Here you go, right? Thank you, Wizards of the Coast. I'm gonna put Gretchen Twitch World right where she belongs, in Forgotten Realms, right? And then um, you have Phoebe Buffay and uh, you know, D, D is saying, hey, check out all these Lego sets. Clickety click click. They click right up to D, D. They certainly do. So I'm gonna bring Phoebe Buffay right into uh, Forgotten Realms, and once she's there, I think that Phoebe Buffay and Gretchen Twitch Willow will really hit it off, right? And this is this is the beauty, you know, this is the beauty of it. We have our player characters, we have Gretchen Twitch Willow, we have Phoebe Buffay, and this is that internet this what I've been talking about, that intellectual that intellectual property expansion. You know, just say, saying, hey, the creative saying, listen, D&D is a storytelling tool. We are connecting it to other storytelling tools, and we know you're going to tell stories with it. And that's that's a beautiful thing. I'm just so excited about that, so thankful for that. And it's really exciting that, you know, Dungeons and Dragons is now moving into this space where we get, you know, characters from the Magic the Gathering sets. We get characters from the Lego sets. We get characters from the D&D set. And, of course, D&D was built from the ground up. It really has its primary purpose pretty much in many ways. Its primary purpose has always been to tell stories. And every, I think, and it's exciting that all these intellectual properties are like, yes, we want to be connected to the number one storytelling tool in the world today. The most progressive, the most inclusive, the most innovative, uh, and not the largest, but like the most innovative, the most progressive, the most inclusive storytelling um, tool in the world today, in my humble opinion, is D&D. And you just see a myriad, just people, companies tripping over themselves to connect them to Dungeons and Dragons, themselves to Dungeons and Dragons, so the Dungeon Masters will naturally tell stories with their play, with their intellectual property in Dungeons and Dragons. It's natural, it's logical, it makes narrative sense, and I'm just incredibly thankful, you know, that I've reached a point in my D&D game where I can have Gretchen Twitch Willow that never came from Ed Greenwood, right? Look, and I can have Phoebe Buffay, and I can have my player characters all in the same tavern, right? And I'm super excited, you know, just to put myself in a space of like, what is Phoebe Buffay's songs going to be in, a, for, you know, in the Stonehill Inn, right? Like in that that inn in Fandolin, you know, what is what is Harbin Western Wester going to say when he hear hears Phoebe Buffay's amazing first song? I never thought I'd be able to ask that question of myself and I'm just so excited for it are what are you excited for what are your intellectual property expansion connections that you're most excited for for Dungeons and Dragons 
I'd love to hear. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.